Now that you've completed your 30, 60, 90 triangles lab, you already did discover the formula for a 30, 60, 90 triangle, but we are going to talk about where it came from. So again, when you were doing that dotted graph and you connected, um, you should have noticed that you started with an equilateral triangle. So that would mean that each one of these angles would have been 60 degrees. So then in order to draw the height or the altitude of this triangle, we would end up drawing a line straight down the middle, which would then create our 90 degree triangle where it's 30 up here, 60 here, and 90 here. So here's the 30 degree angle at the top, here's still the 60 degree angle here. So once we've drawn the altitude and we draw it perpendicular, we've got two 30, 60, 90 triangles. So what we're going to do is use Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the long leg. So what we're going to do is go ahead and call this distance right here x. Well, since it's an equilateral triangle, if this is x here, then this would have to be 2x because again that would mean this distance here would be x and since it's equilateral it would have to be 2x, 2x, 2x and then we're going to use that to solve for our altitude or our height so if I set it up I would have x squared plus um, we'll just put hypotenuse I mean height scribble scribble height squared would equal the hypotenuse squared which is 2x and that whole quantity squared so if I work through this I now have x squared plus and I'm just gonna put h squared and then here remember this would be 2x times 2x so if I multiply that I get 4x squared so now I have x squared plus h squared equals 4x squared. So now if I put these together, I'm going to subtract x squared. So then 4x squared minus x squared, I've got h squared equals 3x squared. So now if I take the square root to get rid of the square, I have that the height would be this and I'm assuming everyone's okay with me separating it so it would be root 3 times root x squared so then the square would cancel with the square root and I now have that h would equal x root 3 so again it's not imperative that you understand where this came from um, but it is neat to see where it does come from. So the let or the height will always be x root 3. The short leg is x and the hypotenuse is 2x. That's where all of this formula comes from. So you can label it down here on this triangle. Good. So now we're going to follow the same steps that we used for the 45 45 90 triangles and we're going to apply it to 30, 60, 90 triangles. So if you remember correctly, we had you do it in three steps. The first thing that we always had you do was um, put the formula on the triangle so you could see what parts you know and what parts you don't know. So if this is our example, again, the first step is gonna be to put the formula on the triangle. So if I put it on here, the short leg is always x. Um, the height, or the long leg, is x root 3. And then over here, the hypotenuse is 2x. Well, just like before, this is where our equals is going to go. So our second step, as always, is going to be to solve for x in our formula. So to solve, we have 2x equals 14. Well, that's a pretty easy one to solve. If I divide by 2, I get that my x value is 7. So then the last step, step 3, 
was always to plug or substitute um, x back in, meaning we have to look at the sides that we are looking for. So the first thing they asked me for was LM. Well, LM I've labeled x root 3. So I'm going to replace x with whatever I solved for. So this would be 7 root 3. Oops. And then MN is the second thing that they ask me for. MN is just equal to X. Well, X is just 7. So MN would be 7. So this triangle would be 7, 14, and 7 root 3, which matches our pet pattern. X, 2X, and X root 3. Good, so flip it over onto the back and let's try a couple more examples. Yep, there we go. So again, our first step is to put the formula on the triangle. And that's how we're gonna set it up to solve. So this is our x root three side, the long leg. The hypotenuse across from the 90 is always 2x. And then down here, this is our x. So short leg, long leg, hypotenuse. So then step two, this is where we have to figure out where we solve for x. Well, on our triangle, here's our setup to solve. I have x equals 2 root 5. Well pretty easy to solve since x is already by itself. So there's our answer. So then step three is going to be to substitute or plug, sorry, substitute x back in to find the answers. So again, they ask me for lm. So I'm going to look at the triangle. lm is x root three. So I have to replace this x with whatever this is. So I'm going to replace x with 2 root 5, that's this, and now I still have root 3. So then if I multiply these two things, 2 is a whole number, so 2 times nothing, so that's 2. And then root 5 times root 3 is root 15. So lm is going to be 2 root 15. Then they ask me for ln. ln is 2x. So again, I've got the 2, and then I'm putting my x value in. Well, x was 2 root 5. So now if I multiply, these two are the whole numbers. So 2 times 2 is 4, and then I still have the root 5. So ln would be 4 root 5. Good. So let's try another one. Um, on this next one, you are going to have to rationalize the denominator. I know it's your favorite part. Oops. I don't know why I folded it already. So for number three, let's follow our steps. So step one we're going to put the formula on the triangle. So the short leg is x, the hypotenuse is 2x, and the long leg is x root 3. Step 2 is to solve for x. So again, I look for my setup. Here it is. So here I've got x root 3 equals 8. Well, just like on the front, we do have to divide, so I would have to divide by the square root of 3. So now I do have x equals, but I don't have an answer. So I've got to rationalize the denominator. So times root 3 over root 3. So this is 8 root 3. Root 3 times root 3 is the square root of 9. Then on the top I leave it the same, but on the bottom the square root of 9 is just 3. 
So now typically I would go in and I would divide 8 by 3. But if we put 8 divided by 3 into our calculator, 8 divided by 3, it gives us this big nasty decimal. And then if I hit math frac, it goes right back to 8 divided by 3. So that means this does not simplify. If it had come out to, let's say, 2.5, I could write the decimal. But since it didn't, I've got to leave this as 8 root 3 over 3. So then step 3 is to substitute x back in. So the first thing they ask me for is ln. Remember ln is 2x. So that means I have to multiply 2 by whatever x is. Well x is 8 root 3 over 3. So now if I go back to my calculator, I still have that 8 thirds in there. I want to multiply that times 2. So it is 16 thirds. So all I do is change this to 16 root 3 over 3. So ln is 16 root 3 over 3. Then the last one is mn. mn is just x. Well, x we already know is 8 root 3 over 3. So 8 root 3 over 3. So again, if they divide evenly and they give you a clean decimal, then you can use the decimal. Otherwise, you need to stick with the fractions. And with threes, a lot of them will be fractions. Awesome. Okay, now let's look at number four, the last one. So again, steps. We're going to put the formula on the triangle. So the short leg is x, the long leg is x root 3, the hypotenuse is 2x. Again, you can already see where we're going to have to solve for x. So then step 2 is to solve for x. And again, on your worksheet, I don't expect to see this written out, but this is your notes. So 2x equals 4 root 3. So I would have to divide by 2. This is not a time to rationalize because this is not a square root. All I have to do is divide 4 by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. And I have 2 root 3. Good. So then step 3, we need to plug or substitute. Oh, oh man, we dropped the camera and everything. Sorry, guys. Of course, very last problem. I can't make it through without the camera falling. All right, try this again. So plug x back in. So lm, looking over here, is x root 3. So remember that means I'm multiplying whatever x is times root 3. Well, x is 2 root 3. So then that gives me 2 square roots of 9. Well, I can take the square root of 9. It's 3. So that's 2 times 3, which is 6. So lm is 6. And then mn is just x. Well, x is 2 root 3. So mn is 2 root 3. Oops.